Hey, welcome back. Welcome back to the Warren G707 TV. And I really appreciate that you guys are checking out the video. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you to all my new subscribers out there that, that wanted to join the channel. I really appreciate y'all. Thank y'all to all my old subscribers. I really appreciate y'all as well. I got a quick report about a Chinese exchange, a Chinese foreigner exchange, cyber kidnapping attack. It's a new trend that's going on today. That's right, cyber kidnapping. Now, I don't know if y'all familiar with it. I'm not familiar with it at all. When I first heard about this report, it took me a minute to even comprehend what they was talking about because I'm like, cyber kidnapping, like what? What what the hell is that? So anyways, basically what happened was it was a young Chinese kid and he was from China and he came out to America. He was going to school in Utah, right? Eight days prior to that, he was getting some type of uh, threats, messages and all kind of stuff online um, and basically manipulating the boy. Right. They manipulated him. They had him thinking things, had him scared. So they made him isolate himself and he isolated himself. He took himself to the woods out there in the cold and the snow. And uh, he isolated himself. You know, he was taking videos and stuff like that. And, you know, pretty much making it really seem like he was kidnapped because that's what the people wanted him to do because they wanted the ransom money. They manipulated this boy into doing this without any type of um like they weren't even physically there that's what like got me tripping like they weren't physically there to do nothing to him they were just sending him messages and following him or whatever online and he was scared he didn't know what to do so i guess he felt that was the best thing to do but anyways whew, man they got all kind of stuff so anyways, they had him out there. Uh, he was out there in the woods and the family, they were paying. They paid thousands of dollars. You know how much they paid? They paid 80,000. That's right. $80,000 electronically to these cyber people, these people that's running this cyber, uh, you know, this cyber scam. They just came up on 80 bands. Never had the boy never caused harm to the boy they manipulated him and they 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 convinced his family that he was kidnapped when he really wasn't kidnapped they were looking at photos of him being in the woods in the snow by himself making it look like he really was kidnapped when he really was not kidnapped he was just isolated and pretty much making it seem like he was kidnapped because he was scared of what these people were going to do to him, I guess. They manipulated him. I mean, big time. I mean, they came up 80 bands without even really taking the child, really taking the boy, right? So the parents, they sent $80,000 to all these different accounts in China. Ooh, ooh, they got, man, these scams, boy. These scams they got these days, man, it can go over your head quick. I'm an old school cat, man. I ain't never heard of that. Cyber kidnapping? I never heard of that. To y'all youngsters or to y'all that's familiar with that, hey, y'all might be familiar with that, but like I said, y'all shouldn't be familiar with it, though, but then again, you should be because I was going to say you shouldn't be because, you know, what the hell is cyber uh, uh, kidnapping? You know what I mean? If you're not involved in that, then you shouldn't know nothing about it. But then again, you know, at the same time, you need to be aware of it. So I'll take that back. You need to be aware of it. You know what I mean? But I still can't understand in my mind how somebody can manipulate you into being kidnapped, but you're not really kidnapped. And then they're sent. Your parents are sending them 80 racks because they think you're really kidnapped, but you're not really. Ki oh, my God. That man. These people are smart. Whoever did that is it is is it's like, wow, who thinks of this type of stuff? You know what I mean? Like, it's crazy. I'm not saying that is a good thing to do. I'm not saying that is is is, you know, that I um 
that I encourage that, but it's smart. But at the same time, they're only doing this to families that come from other countries. They're only targeting families from other countries that's not familiar with the laws in the United States. You know what I mean? So that's another reason why they're able to manipulate these families that come from different countries, you know? And that's how they're able to pull this scam. That's how they're able to pull it off. They can't do nothing like that to people that was really born out here in the United States and really from the United States, you know, sending false messages and making it seem like, you know, they kidnapped you. That's not going down out here. You got to physically put your hands on somebody and touch somebody for you to try to get them, but not manipulate them into having them doing the actions without you forcing them to do it. They just doing it because they're scared. It's still hard for me to believe, you know what I mean? But yeah, they got cyber kidnapping. It's a new trend of a scam that they got out here. You know what I mean? So be aware of that. Be aware of that. So I had to do a quick report about that just to, you know, educate you guys because this video is educational. I, I'm doing this video to edu educate you guys about cyber kidnapping. It's educational for me, too, because I just learned about it. So that's pretty much what's going on, you guys. Um, whew, man, be aware of what's out there, people. I mean, they coming up with all kind of scams, anything, you know? So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I really ap appreciate you checking out the channel. And I'll see y'all soon. I'm out.